Next up on our coverage of mini golf games is going to be Golf It. Golf It is another very popular game that we play uh, regularly. Please ignore all the names on the right hand side there of the leaderboard. Some of them are quite offensive. <laughs> we play this game pretty regularly as part of our rotation of games we play on sub nights. So it makes sense to go ahead and maybe cover one, right? Or all three. And so that's what we're doing is actually we're going to cover, uh, well, not all three, because one of them is actually one that we've not yet played as a community. Uh, but. I did feel like, you know, there's a number of really good ones. They all have their own perks and their own uh, things that set them apart from from uh, from the other titles. And so it makes sense to go and cover them uh, in sequence so you guys can see uh, some of the different uh, mini golf games that are currently available uh, on, on Steam. Some of them are going to be uh, not quite finished. Actually, all of them are going to be uh, relatively unfinished is a 0.5. Uh, 0.5 version for this one. Uh, golf with friends, I believe, I believe also is still in early access, uh, but it's this is we'll we'll touch in we'll, we'll just kind of touch base and see you know what the what they currently have available because we play this thing we play this thing enough that it's it's clearly got enough content for us to enjoy as a community so let's see hot seat players one boom we'll get it get in here my custom map okay yes okay I, I made a custom map I didn't think this was actually gonna work so let me go ahead and show you guys the custom map that I made because it's freaking great. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Alright, so my map sucks. I didn't put a start area. <laughs> Look, let's got an editor, right? I'll show you the editor. We'll do that first. My custom map. Sure, let's go and jump in. Uh and you got friends. You got friends in the editor too, which actually is actually super fucking cool. I've never seen that. So yeah, multiplayer editor if you wanted to. Uh so this is where you go through and you actually can set up your map. I put a couple particle generators, everything, and I, put, I linked a couple of these things together. It's actually super easy. You basically go through and you click on something like this right here, small bump, and you could click right here, boop, puts it right there. Grab another one, small bump, bam. I mean, yeah, creating the creating maps in this is actually super easy. To get more complex with it is actually where the uh, is where it's gonna get a little bit more difficult. Um, let's see, there's a hole. There you go. We'll put it right there. Ta-da! And actually, we click on this here, raise it up a little bit so it matches. Oop, there you go. And let's see, <clears throat> goals. Let's see, standalone goal. Uh, we're gonna have a bunch of goals, so don't really worry about that. And let's see, that's, uh, that's it, so. <clears throat> Not really a whole lot else to show you guys. <laughs> Once you can start linking things together and you get some pretty crazy results. But honestly, I could, I don't want to sit here and spend a lot of time in the editor. Yes, it is complex enough where you could create a lot of really cool stuff. But I'd rather show you that cool stuff in, instead of sitting here trying to place a bunch of things and get something that's, that's a fraction of uh, as cool as, uh, as what people have already made. So if I go to host game here, uh, yep, my own server, hot seat, boop. And then if we go through and show you guys, like for example, uh, uh, video game trivia. Let's play the first hole of this so you guys can see how this functions. This is actually super fucking cool. Uh, go ready, start. This is a very simple concept for a mini golf course that's actually very, very, very cool and, and lends itself to being uh, very easily repeated using the same course setup. So somebody actually went through and they created, I'm in spectator mode now, basically a bunch of questions, right? So the questions like, Oops, oops. Which of these games did not come out in 2004? And you have Half-Life 2, World of Warcraft, Call of Duty 2, and Halo 2. And when you select an answer, it'll throw you either down to the finish, which is, uh, well, it's basically just the finish line, right? It'll say correct, and you'll go down to the finish. Or you have to go down and complete one of these mini courses that are just, that are set up down here. So it's a very, very, very cool concept. And, you know, depending on how wrong you are, you could get stuck with a mini game that's going to add to your uh, add to add to your score, which obviously the, it's golf. The more points you get, the the, the lower you are on the on the leaderboard there. Uh, like for example, uh, let's see this one. Ah oh, man, I remember this one. This is wrong. So you land, it says wrong, get the wrong answer, and then you have to you have to go and, and make a in as few strokes as possible make it into the hole. Some of them are obviously super easy. Like this one, just go right around, go right in. This one right here, however, with this 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 hump, this one screwed me the other night, so I was super thrilled about that. And yeah, whatever. So there's basically a ton of stuff here. So oh, here's the finish. Here's what the finish looks like. You basically go in here, and then it says correct, and you kind of slowly roll to the end. Yay, correct, and then boop, that's it. So that's it. That, that's the basic gist of this. Is actually a very, 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 very cool concept. Um, and I really, really hope that they, uh, that whoever made this actually just swaps out. Everybody really enjoyed this, this particular map. So we're going to exit. Cause I already forgot the answers to a bunch of these questions. And some of the questions are actually pretty challenging, honestly. Let's see, host game. 
Let's see, hot seat. I just took hot seat because it's one player. There, there are the, there's like, you know, there, there's the five different starting courses that you go with, but you, but whatever, you, you play them at least once and then just kind of move on from there and try to find some cool shit that other people have done. Because some people have done some pretty cool things. Uh, there's also BFF land. Uh, Kimi Kicks actually went through and made a couple of, uh, couple of maps here. I believe this is the only one that was actually finished and actually kind of functioned, but towards, at some point though, I believe it actually fell apart because it was, uh, the map got too complex or something. I don't know. I don't remember. Let's see. Uh, golf it with your friends. Wait a minute. Oh. <gasps> This is a golf with friends. Oh my god. I bet this is straight up a golf with friends uh, map copy. Let's go ahead and go spectator. Whoop. Go back out. Um. You know what? I, 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 I don't see... Okay, this, this I recognize. Yes, okay. Yes, this is a Golf with Friends map that's been, the the forest map that's been uh, put into Golf It. <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> you know, Golf with Friends is going to be getting an editor, so I'm pretty sure someone's going to do the same thing, copy all their maps over. Yep, all the different bouncy things. Yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. Yep, and this right here. Okay, yeah, if you play Golf with Friends, you've seen these things. As a matter of fact, if you guys watch the Any for Breakfast that I'm going to be doing on Golf with Friends, you'll probably see uh, some of these maps. That's pretty freaking hilarious. Of course, of course, of course. You know, let's uh, let's uh, get out of here. Let's uh, do a couple strokes here. So yeah, this is the basic first map here. I should know, son of a bitch. <laughs> of course, I should. <laughs> uh, don't get it. There we go. Okay, okay. So one thing to note. How it plays? How do you how do you stroke? Right? So let me let me teach you how to stroke. All right. The way that the stroking works in golf it is different than how stroking works in golf with friends and uh, uh, golf uh, uh, infinite golf infinite mini golf. The way this works. So in infinite mini golf and and golf with friends, when you pull back your power, you just set it to where you want. Then you click and it releases. It's like playing pool on any video game, right? Any video game platform pool. Basically, you you set the angle. You set whatever, and then you uh, and then you click the go button, and then it does the stroke. But in this case, when playing with the mouse and keyboard, mind you, uh, in in uh, in the case of golf, it you actually apply apply power by how quickly you move the mouse forward. So if I wanted to, I could just go just a little bit, right? Or or I could pull this bitch all the way back and just throw that bitch out like that. <laughs> and just launch into orbit. Whoops, I just knocked over my stream deck. <laughs> Let's go get this up. Sorry, stream deck. Oop, there we go. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. All right. It's falling apart here. Hold on. There we go. Okay. All right. Now we landed. So there is a pretty wide uh, variety or gamut of, of in terms of a spectrum of power that you can apply uh, to the to uh, in this <laughs> in golf it. Much, much more, much, a much broader uh, power spectrum than uh, infinite mini golf and uh, golf with friends. And, and and this this lends itself to, you know what? Like you could create some pretty insane uh, maps that would require like a crazy amount of power and you could do that because the game will allow you to because the power, the power does go up uh, that high. So there we go, drop it in there. And then we come over here. Yeah, wow, this is hilarious. It's just straight map, straight map, map for map copy, boom. All right, cool. Yeah, par. All right, it's going back out though. Cause I gotta show you guys other things. Gotta show you guys other things, exit. All right, ball customization. That's important. Ball customization is pretty important. You could change your ball color to whatever you want. I have a white as the salt. You could change to red, purple, pink, blues, yellows, fuchsia, vermilion, chartreuse, whatever you want, right? Uh, change the saturation levels. There you go, bump that up, good. Yeah, basically whatever you want. So make it blue, go trails, bunch of different things. I, got, I have salt currently. You got fire if you wanted to. You got pizzas. Uh, you can have red X's, stars. You can have nothing, I guess. Uh, it's hearts. Yeah, basically whatever you want. Emojis. Look at that. Oh, oh. They turn sad, sad though, I think, when you get to a certain number of strokes, because I've seen that happen. Uh, or maybe actually not. Maybe they actually don't change, and it's just a different uh, a different emoji altogether. <clears throat> Let's see. Sushi. You have different types of sushi pop all over the place. Let's go upgrade. Now, this, this is something I don't quite... You know, you can scrap. Yeah, here we go. Scrap. You can get coins. I don't quite know exactly what you get when you when you upgrade, right? Because this function, this feature seems like it's new, and it's something that is not 
quite fleshed out. I mean, you imagine like scrapping. <clears throat> yeah, I'm like stuck, right? Yeah, scrapping, scrapping, like, for example, I have two of these hats, right? So if I scrap it, it's not going to let me scrap. No. Okay. Yeah, see, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, this, this doesn't do anything. Oh, yeah, let's go and get out of here before I get stuck somehow. Yeah, cancel, let's get out. Anyway, so yeah, that seems like a feature that's still in, in progress. Here's all the different hats and things you have. You can actually trade and buy these things on uh, on the Steam store, right? Let me see. Let's see. Da, 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 da. View achievements, community hub. I believe that's where it's at. And discussions. The store page, workshop, videos, artwork. Store page would have it, right? Let me let me just flop around here for a minute here. I'll find, I'll find it for you. I'll find it. Jesus. Let's see, not interested. Da, 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 workshop leaderboard clues. I thought for sure that you could trade these online. I could be wrong. Or they're doing a pretty good job of hiding the uh the store for for whatever reason. Community hub. Yeah, no idea. <sighs> Hold on, hold on. Inventory, badges, content, workshop, mar market. There you go. I wonder if it's just hidden. I do want to see if they have it. Market, here we go. So search, advanced options. Here is games, golf it. There we go. Jeez, man, that was tough. So you can go through and you could get flags, hats, sombreros, blue fire, 19 cents. Wow. Uh, Epic Viking. Yeah, there's all kinds of different stuff you could get. Yeah, plenty of, plenty of things. That you could buy for several cents, several, several cents. Buy and sell things. So I could sell that cowboy hat and get three cents if I want to. There's also 1,600 of them. Jesus Christ. Yin Yang skin, $16. Let's see what the most expensive thing is. That's always fun. Let's see. Most expensive thing, $30. Glow, beach ball, bronze skin. Am I selling the first page? I am. Okay, cool. So that is the highest price thing. 30 bucks. There's four of them on the market. Wow, crazy. So yeah, you can buy and sell skins just like you can like PUBG or whatever. Uh, I see skins. Speaking of skins, actually, I don't have any skins. That's probably the glow and everything you saw. So we're going to apply this pink hat and whatever. Uh, let's see. Mouse speed, putter speed. This is all pretty, uh, pretty obvious what these things do. Let's go ahead and actually go to play another. Post the game. Private. Well, doesn't matter. Hot seat. No server, no nothing. Let's see. What's another one I'll show you guys? Uh, let's go to meatballs here. This guy's got a pretty good selection of different like mini games i guess like ski ball pinball all that stuff i think it would make for a pretty good demonstration here Whoop! this is how it's done right here look at this look at this Fuck. <laughs> of course uh try again there we go par you can see the plinko right there in the background we'll get there in just a minute that's just not too far off let's go and launch this guy up oh my god are we gonna dunk it Oh, baby, yeah! <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that was perfect. Why can't I do this when I'm streaming? Give me a break. Here we go. Try your luck. You can test your skill. You can go through and actually play the mini game if you wanted to, right? Play the, the actual golf. Oh, wow. If you wanted to do that. Or you can just test your skill, which, as you saw, just basically threw me in. So this is good. Still on my first stroke here. Glide it up. Ooh, if I wanted to, all the dynamic lighting. Look at that. Plinko, Plinko, and uh, so you don't have to actually start over, which is nice, but you have to still make it, try to make it up and over some of these in order to get to the hole you want to, just like, not like that. Damn it. Stop for sure I nailed that. There we go. Bam. The money there is 10,000, 1,000, whatever. That's not real. It's, it's, it's not real at all. So let's see if we can soar over. Nope, water, water hazard. Water hazard just resets. There we go. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah. Uh -uh. Unfortunately, though, and this is like, this speaks to like the difference between uh, infinite golf and golf with friends and golf it. Um, in golf with friends and golf it, you have to play the entire 18 holes or how many holes it is on the map, right? You start from the first one, you keep going. Now, there's a really cool pinball level at the very end of this, but I can't show you guys. Uh, I can't go and play it without, unfortunately, um, going through every single map. Whereas with golf, uh, infinite mini golf, you can go through, ooh, shit. Oh, damn. Uh, you can go through and play just one single map and create your own series uh, of maps if you wanted to. 
by chaining them together. You can add them to your back nine or whatever. It's actually, I think it's called something nine. It's a nine, right? Uh, oh, not enough power. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got this. There we go. Zoom. Eh, pretty good. I might actually be able to zoom through some of these maps. I, I just did these, so I should be able to go through them. Play fairly well and get to the end. But yeah, so if you want to play, if you, it, it, this is more of a package deal, right? You go through and you're like, okay, cool. Oh shit, that was not what they did last night. Oh, that's right, there's two sets. There's two sets. I see. This one goes from right to left, slow. For, oh my god. <sighs> uh. Trying to let the, the weight of the uh, or the oh gee oh. <laughs> quick go 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 fall 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 oh okay that works too perfect now wait can I shoot all oh, all the way across sure can I was getting a little carried away it's okay I can try again oh man see why can't I do this stuff on stream damn well, there's double eh, double bogey's not that great. So like, Infinite Mini Golf has a bunch of power ups and everything you can have that you can get, um, and a decent editor. Golf Golf It has a fantastically complex editor, but there's like power ups or anything like that. And you also don't have like the option to choose different types of balls. Um, and Infinite Mini Golf and with uh, uh, Golf with Friends, you have different types of balls that you can play with. Man, this is a very quotable for, uh, episode of Indie for Breakfast. Um, there's tons of different balls you can play with different gameplay styles. Uh, actual, actually, uh, Golf with Friends shines in that it takes that Rocket League approach where it says, you know what? Yeah, it's golf, but let's have a basketball hoop uh, or let's have uh, a soccer or a soccer or hockey style goal, right? Uh, so yeah, they definitely embrace that um, that Rocket League style of gameplay where you basically do, do whatever you want, whatever. And people seem, people really enjoy that. Play something different. Like, let's play hockey pucks. Let's play whatever. Uh, there's a lot of cool, fun stuff you could do with uh, with different gameplay styles of uh, of Golf with Friends. Whereas, you know, in Golf It, you're basically just playing golf. There's a bunch of different types of golf, crazy different maps and everything. As you can see, it's lots and lots of different insane things that you could do. Damn it, don't tell me it's gonna put me down here. No, reset, reset, reset. Oh, that was too far, damn it. All right, so R resets you all the way back to the beginning. F resets you back to uh, to the last stroke. So that was a mistake. That was a severe mistake right there. <sighs> oh, all the way back down. Oh, 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 the blender. Do, 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 do. And then it puts you right back here. Let's take the uh, the side roads here. The roads left, left, less traveled. Oh God, can I actually make this? I don't think so. <clears throat> Is that where I have to go? God, I hope so. Looks like it. <sighs> oh, what's it gonna do? No, F. The problem is though, when you hit F, you also gain, a, there's, a, there's a stroke penalty. So, we're obviously don't care about the stroke penalty. Oh, well, the stroke penalty, the stroke max is 12. So we hit that pretty quickly because we came in F. Here we go, Ski Ball. Hoping to be able to show you guys at least one of these. That was weak as fuck. Oh my God. That was terrible. Now nah, let's go back. <laughs> you might as well. Huh. Come on, baby. Oh, that was also bad. <laughs> that was super bad. Uh, hold on. No, 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 no. Huh. There we go. That's a bit much. Actually, I did that yesterday. And I made like a bogey or something. Or a birdie. Okay, that's a little bit better. A little bit better. It cost me 10 strokes. And it looks like it didn't really get me that much. <laughs> Hold on a second. What is the benefit here? Uh, so that platform or the bottom, uh, you know what? It's not really a whole lot of benefit. Okay, the bottom floor, yeah, you have to go around this thing. The middle section, you can shoot through that. The, this one, okay, and that one's a hole in one. Okay, got it, got it, yeesh. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> uh... <laughs> hey, that's a stroke out right there. <laughs> uh, fine, whatever. There are also a lot of physics things you could do in Golf It uh, that are very interesting. Changing gravity, for example. So you can have, there's actually an inception level and uh, there's a scene where the world kind of gets bent like at a 90 degree angle, which is kind of neat. If you've seen the trailer or watched the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. 
they replicate that in the game and because of the way they're actually able to set gravity zones uh it actually kind of plays very very it actually plays where it's like you 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 uh you roll the, the the ball up the street it goes up at a 90 degree angle but you're still grounded because of gravity it's very very cool uh this is the high dive basically you just want to high dive off this and try to land in the oh baby oh nope 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 no nope. wind shear wind shear wind shear man it's unfortunate there you go that should do it right there that's not enough you need more power looks like oh god <gasps> nope damn Wind shear. Let me break. There we go. That's it right there. That's the one. That's the one right there. Dunk it. Perfect. Par. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and actually... Yo, man, you know, if I don't make this in the first go, I'm just going to leave. I made it. Oh, God. What's this going to go? Where's this going to go? Where's this taking me? All right, let's go and uh, let's maybe one more here. Let's one more. Let's show you guys a couple more maps here. Things you could do. Uh, I don't want to show you guys the Inception one because the Inception one is actually kind of slow. And I believe it also plays like Inception music. Ah, right, here we go. Anomaly 17. This is a good one. Plays a long, long time ago. Anomaly 17. Anomaly 17 actually builds the map. Uh, like kind of around. Yeah, here we go. And what's great again because of the gravity zones that you're able to set up. This is all, this all plays normal. It looks crazy and insane, but it all plays normally. So let's go ahead and go back. Uh, let's see. So we'll just go ride this guy around. The same thing here. Get us in. Should be able to make it in from here. No, uh, not enough power. And right in. <laughs> oh, hey, right in. Uh, oh! Wind shear, wind shear, bogey. All right, now we're over here. And what's great is because of just the way that, just because of the way. Oh, actually, this is still on the same level as the other map. I was gonna say because of the way the map is designed with the gravity and everything in mind, that it actually plays. Uh, every area plays the same or whatever, or it doesn't seem like you're upside down. Stop! 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 Perfect. Obviously, there is a hole in one. Uh, technique here somewhere, and I did not do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. No, okay, yeah. Yes, no, stop. What are you doing? What are you doing? So that is golf it <laughs> on our conquest here to uh, uh or my conquest here to show you guys all the different mini golf games and fuck that map uh, all the different mini ga mini golf games that uh, uh well two of the ones that we play as a community pretty regularly and a third one that came across my desk is infinite mini golf which you guys should have already seen um that is also done <clears throat> There's also, you know, they all have their own, they have their own like, kind of twist, their own way of kind of presenting mini golf. Uh, and there are so many mini golf games. I'm sure there's some out there that are way better than what I'm currently playing or what I've currently played out of the three that I have. But I mean, seriously, how many mini golf games do I really need? Ser I, come on, I have, I have three now. It's getting kind of abs absurd. We, it was already absurd when we were playing golf with friends. It was like, yeah, this game golf is like, yeah, well, another golf game. But golf, it has the, the benefit of having just this, uh, this great level editor. Uh, and a work and workshop support where you go through and you could get all these crazy maps and everything and it's just yeah so it's each one has its own twist and the next one that I'll be covering golf with friends uh is probably gameplay wise the most the, the most diverse because of the pucks and the basketball mode and all that good stuff so I'm looking forward to showing you guys that but this is golf it another popular one in the BFF stream community you can check it out on Steam. It is eight dollars and ninety nine cents regularly, so it's pretty, uh, pretty well priced if you compare it to uh, Infinite Mini Golf, which is actually fifteen dollars regular price and eight dollars uh, or uh, on sale. Well, it was on sale actually for four dollars, four dollars and ninety nine cents. So they do go on sale pretty regularly. So this one actually currently is on sale, but by the time you guys see this, it might actually be a little too late. So I don't want to tell you guys about that. So that's it. My name is Mike B. This is Indy for breakfast. The game is called Golf It. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys later.